Time for Tram and Cam now. Let's talk the top sports story of the day. But Cam, I Hi. cannot wait to hear about your cool story. Yeah, Trev, you know, it's been so much negative with the Suns the past couple of days, and it's probably going to continue that way the rest of the week. So this is a cool stun Sun story that I want to share with everyone. Tram, this is the face of one brave and fearless kid. Oh. The Suns in basketball helping this fighter dribble on no matter the court. How you do that again? Kelton Thompson makes normal 10-year-old faces. Oh. <laughs> enjoys normal 10-year-old things. Oh, come on! You'd never know it watching this jumper outside that this 10-year-old has been fighting for his life the past year. Battling leukemia and living out of a hospital. You take any of this stuff with you to the hospital to make it feel more like home? A lot. Oh, you, you take a lot? Oh, yeah, we take a lot. Like, what, what do you take? Everything. Like what? Um, well, a hoop, um... We mostly take all of this. Diagnosed in March 2023, Kelton started showing signs he wasn't his usual crazy self. Six months, not fully of chemo, but treatments. Rang his bell in September, and then the end of January is when he relapsed again. Nine months staying in and out of the hospital requires round-the-clock family support. We have a calendar that um, there's someone there every day with him and someone there every night with him. But for Kelton, it just means a lot of hospital room basketball games with the nurses. I hear you play in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He has two hoops in his room. We have lots of basketballs. We got one that's like a silent basketball, so it's very nice and quiet. The doctors will come in and play. 10.30 at night, we're still playing basketball. And plenty of time to watch his favorite team, the Phoenix Suns. Oh, something to look forward to. You know, I'll write it down on his little door saying what channel the game's on, what time, and you know, who's playing, and he'll get his jersey on and be ready for the game and sit in his bed, and the nurses come in and watch the games with him. Returning to battle cancer in January was tough. But it came with a mood booster. What's up, Kelton? It's D-Book here. I just want to say I appreciate your support and being a fan of myself and the Phoenix Suns. Uh, I want to invite you to a game, and I hope to see you soon. What do you think? Where did you get this? Where do you think? Well, where did you get it? Where do you think? Could you believe it? Mm-mm. <laughs> you know, did you know it was coming? No. Oh, remember your reaction? What face did you make? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Kelton is scheduled for a bone marrow transplant on May 17th, with the goal to be out of the hospital in the next two to three months. There's times he has rough moments, but he knows that he has to do this to be able to get out and go on with his life. Go on to turn 11 years old and do normal 11-year-old things. When all this is done, you don't have to have all these things anymore. Fun. <laughs> I can do a lot more. I could actually go in a pool. I don't know, I can jump off walls now. <laughs> That's coming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I can promise you, Trey, that man is ready to jump off some walls. Um, I love the doctors and nurses play basketball with him in the hospital. I was like, is that allowed? He goes, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, for him? For him, anything. Yeah. Um, truly special people who work with kids like that on a PCH. Yeah. You just see the smiles that they make. He's so positive through it all. Like so to see him, positive. so you know, his mom holds it back a little bit, and his dad too. Um, and he, he's, they got a whole house full of kids too, as well. He's got a brother and two sisters, and uh, they miss him when he's not there. Obviously, okay. they've had to have some holidays away from him, um, but life is returning to normal. Hopefully, yeah. everything goes well coming up, and he gets to be home permanently after everything happens. I know, and I love that you took us into his bedroom. Yes, what we, struck me, we caught him just as he got home from the hospital, so he's going back next week for that bone marrow transplant. Right. And so we, it, he just had a short window, and he was super excited to run around and just hang around with his brothers and sisters. And his sense of humor is great. So I know. sweet. How's that face going? Like love that? It. I like know. That? I love it. Thank you for bringing us that. So yeah. please keep us updated. We will. We will. All right, Cam. Great story. Yeah. You never disappoint, <laughs> Lindsay. He never disappoints.